Welcome, in this tutorial for iPage Studio, I'm going to show you how to create a web page. Um, when you log in, you'll see uh, this page. Obviously, you won't have any existing sites. Just click Add New Page, give the page a name, whatever that might be. So we'll put uh, um, Bob's Garage. Then um, you give the campaign a name. Uh, this is just for your convenience so that you can sort of file different web pages within uh, different headings. So we call that garage. Um, and then you can give uh, set the language and also the time zone. Put GMT here. Then click next. Then you'll click for uh, choose from the various uh, niche options. So we'll do business services. Click next, and then you'll see you've got a range of templates to choose from. Um, if you want to see what, what they look like, all you have to do is click uh, the preview button, and the site will come up, and then you just can scroll down and see how it's laid out. Now, <clears throat> I should mention at this point, you can change any of these elements, delete them, add new elements. So these are just templates for, for you to work from. So let's say I wanted uh, this one. So we'll just scroll down and see what that looks like. So all we do is click there and then create site. Once the site's created, we can then change the um, the images, the logo, uh, change the links. As we scroll down, we can literally just click in and. Um, Literally, we can change text as easily as we can in Word or any other uh, WYSIWYG editor. You can bold text, you can change the fonts, and so forth. Now, let's say you didn't want to have a particular um, uh, element in. So let's say this one here, time-limited offers. All we have to do is click the delete button, and then that's gone. And if you wanted to add uh, a new element, say uh, let's let's say we wanted to add this element here, all you do is drag it across and release, and then it's there. And then literally just um, make any changes that you want to, and click save. Um, once you've done all the editing, oh, as far as the form is concerned, if you're going to have a call to action or a form, you click the edit here and you can move the various fields. So if you wanted to have, uh, instead of full name, we'll just put first name and then we'll create another one for the last name. And that would, is a text option, that's good. We'll move, we can move that up now to, so it appears underneath the first name. And if we want to add any other fields, we can make them mandatory by clicking this button here. And adding other fields here, we can choose whether we want the to be a text field, a multi-line text field. That's for if someone's putting comments or message, uh, number, phone number, uh, a URL, checkbox options. So you can do a fully uh, featured form. So let's, uh, and if you wanted to get rid of a particular field, which this one I will, just click delete. Uh, then with the form, you can change the name of the button. Uh, change, you can put where the mail's going to go to, um, where the form's going to go. You can make that go to multiple email addresses. And then you can change the thank you message. And if you prefer, you can redirect after the form's been submitted. So instead of seeing the thank you message, they can go to another web page that you've built uh, on iPage Studio. So uh, that's that. Then finally, so you're going to save it and publish when you're done. And then how are people going to access it? Well, uh, here's a QR code builder that you can then... Um, uh, create uh, any size QR code. Um, you can change the version type and the level. 
it doesn't really matter and then literally you can just download the QR code uh, if you want to uh, well first of all you put in the title description and if you want to uh, stop search engines from finding the page maybe it's you've created a um, a private page just for uh, existing customers so you'll put no index no follow and then save that uh, under general you can here you can change the the end of the URL uh, and of course even if you leave it as it is uh, you can uh, redirect your uh, website very easily uh, from wherever you bought the domain to the URL that you've got here so if I wanted to change this to uh, Bob's Garage Yeah, all of, that's all I would do. And click save. Let's come back and have a look. Uh, and we can see it's now Bob's Garage. And then uh, if you want to have a custom domain, you literally put in the domain that you've that, uh, you've bought. And then make sure that you point the C name of that domain to app.ipagestudio.com. Then you can put in the language if it's not English you just select from the options and your time zone you can put additional tracking code JavaScript and CSS that's for advanced users but you don't really need any of those for most websites so you'll save that and then your website is fully accessible um, and it will look exactly let's just get those settings here so Hold on a second, we'll go to the QR code. See the QR code's now changed to that. So I'll copy that, excuse me, and let's have a look what that looks like in another browser. So here we've got the site as people will see it. And you can see it looks really professional built-in maps, we've got the form here, and if you want to see what it would look like on a mobile device, because it's fully responsive, just change the appearance. And that's how it will look. Uh, so <clears throat> you can use these uh, pages for full, fully mobile responsive sites. You can use them for landing pages, for events, for complete websites, uh, really quick and easy to create. You don't need to worry about hosting because it's all hosted for you. Um, and that is iPage Studio, the fastest, easiest way to create fully responsive, mobile-friendly websites.